Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic flashlight in Unreal Engine 4 and Blender. Pretty simple. And this is what you get as a result. To begin, we're going to start by making the mesh for the flashlight. To do this, we're going to take the default cube, we're going to scale it up on the x-axis, slide it down just slightly, we're going to select the front face, we're going to extrude it, hit escape, and scale it up. Now we want to extrude it out again. So now it roughly has the shape of a very, very basic flashlight. We're going to select all the faces, go into material mode. We're going to assign them to the first material. Create a second material. And change the diffuse color just so we can see the difference. Change it to red. And we want to select the front face and assign that to the second material slot. All there is for creating the material and the mesh. All right, now we need to export it. Export FBX. Go to just random folder. We'll call this flashlight. Export FBX. I'm sure, all those settings are probably fine. There's our flashlight. Let's create a new material. Call it M underscore flashlight. And this is going to be the material that is for the lit up portion right on the front where we created that second material slot. So the first thing we're going to need to do is have a color for the on state and the off state. So we're going to create two vector parameters. First one will be for the off state, which will make gray. The second one will be for the on state, which will be yellow. Then we're going to want to lerp those together, connect up the base color. Connect the A pin to the off state, the B pin to the on state. And for the alpha, we're going to use a scalar parameter. And we're going to call that light on. All right. And we're also going to want a emissive color. So we're going to do something similar. We're going to use alert, connect up to the emissive color. We're going to connect the yellow to the B pin and the light on to the alpha. And that should, if we test it here, should make it yellow. That's kind of a dull yellow. So let's add in a multiply. And let's crank it up to, say, 20. nice and bright now. All right, that looks good. So we'll apply it. We'll go back and let's create a second material just for the body, which we'll call it body. And we'll just make this a very basic material. Add in the color, make it say red. And then we'll apply. All right. Now, we can select our flashlight and open it. Set the second material to our flashlight. And the first, the body. You can see it's reflected there. And we will now create a blueprint class, actor. We'll name this BP underscore flashlight. Open it up. And we'll need a static mesh. And we will need a point light. Not point light, a spotlight. Alright, go to static mesh. We will flashlight. Set it to our flashlight. And that's pretty large, so let's scale it down to say 0.2. And we'll take our spotlight and position it as we need it. It's right about there. Intensity is about 5,000. It's going to be normally on, so we will set everything to visible. And compile. Move to the event graph. We're going to activate and deactivate on key press, so we'll use Q. Then we'll do a flip flop. Connect that 
that up to pressed. And since, in a, since it's in a normally on state, we're going to want to take the spotlight. And when the A pin is activated, we want to deactivate it. So we're going to set the intensity. Actually, we'll just set the visibility. Much simpler. I'll set it to new visibility false. We'll turn it off. And since we want to change the static meshes material, we will say set parameter, set scalar parameter on materials. And we will set this to our light, light on. I'll connect that up. And since zero is the off state, we'll set it to zero. Next, we will copy these two. And this will allow us to easily change it to an on state. Just connect everything up. Alright, that should be good. Let's zoom out to show you. So we press Q first time, turns it, turns the spotlight to not visible and changes the material. And when we press it again, it makes the spotlight visible again and changes the material back to the on state. All right, so let's give this a test. Take our BP, drop it in the world, hit play. You can see that it's on. When we hit Q, it's not doing anything. There's a reason for that. So I forgot to set input enabled. I'll say player zero, compile. Let's try that again. Hey, what do you know? It works. A little hard to see there, so I'm going to move it, turn it around, and this way you can actually see the light on the wall. And press Q, turns off and on, the light turns off and on, and so does the material. Looks pretty good. It's pretty, very, very simple. Well, thank you.